This section heading is called Pen Testing the Forum. So what we're going to do within this section is we're going to test our site for a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to attempt to post a script element within the forum. Now if we can successfully post this element within here, that's going to mean that our site is susceptible to stored cross-site scripting. So now we'll attempt to post this. We can see the JavaScript execute. So now let's go over the attributes of what makes this a stored cross-site scripting attack type. So first let's take a look at the client side file. So we'll view the page source. Inside of there we can see the insertion just like we've seen in the other, other attack types or cross-site scripting attack types. So now what differentiates this one from say for example a locally reflected cross-site scripting attack is because the insertion not only occurs on the client side file but it's also occurring on the server side file as well. So remember we had that com.html file and when we posted that comment it's stored within that file. So now this is considered one of the more devastating cross-site scripting attack types because each and every time someone visits this web page that script element is going to be included within it. So now let's verify that that element exists within that file. So we're going to establish an SSH session over to that backend server and then we'll cat that file. So we're going to cat and then that file is var down var www web server and then it's com.html and then once again we're going to echo an empty string at the end so we don't see it behind the prompt. So here we're verifying that it is or the insertion did in fact occur on the server side as well.